Hello traders, this is Tuesday today and I'm Shlomo Cooper and we are with another Wall Street pre preview ahead of the opening bell. So stocks kicked off the fourth quarter yesterday on a high note with Dow Jones, the S&P and the Nasdaq closing it all at record highs. It was just unstoppable on Monday from the early going and after the gap up, the stock market as you can see right now on the SPY, this is the 15 minutes short time frame of the SPY, just kept running from the opening bell and never actually looked back, closing at all time highs. Now the move caps an impressive rally out of the mid-August low that's been led definitely by small cap stocks. This is the IWM. What a huge rally yesterday on the IWM. Let's move to the daily chart and just look how the IWM performed um, this year actually. It nudged a new low back in mid-August but from there from bottom to low and to new all-time highs for the Russell 2000. The Russell 2000 had a stellar third quarter advancing mo almost 5.5% uh, in Q3. Now usually the first day of the month tend to be um, strong and the stock market not having the bad September everyone expected, it does bode well for this week. Add to that optimism about tax reform and you get stocks at all-time highs once again. The Russell 2000 which tracks small cap stocks posted another record high close yesterday. Small cap companies are expected to be among the biggest beneficiaries of a tax cut. There are a lot of details on tax reform that still need to be worked out, but the market is certainly willing to believe that something good might happen. The reasons stocks, especially small caps, are doing so well are the economy which is doing well despite the storm and hopes of tax reform. A lot of folks don't think there will be tax reform but the market thinks there will be. If that happens it will be a big boost to the economy. So, trade of the day and it, it, it is a devastating tragedy what happened uh, yesterday, the massacre that took place by a lunatic in Las Vegas and took the life of more than 58 innocent people, you know, who their only crime was their love to country music. Our deep condolences to our fellow Americans on that. One group of stocks that we told our traders to put on their screens early in the morning was, of course, the casino stocks. I focused on MGM, which controls about 50% of all casino hotels in the Strip. The stock is expected, this is the 5 minutes chart of MGM, the stock started on a sour note with a gap down of just over 3% but was able to raise its head and recover part of uh, the, gig, uh, the big gap. Now I, I switch to the one minute chart because this is how I follow my stocks, uh, every stock in the first 30 minutes of trading on the one minute time frame and just take a look on that. So I waited to short it knowing that the is a lot of concern around the business going on in Las Vegas after the tragedy. Las Vegas in the last two years was able to take once again the crown of the gambling capital of the world from Macau after some difficult years and it may encounter now big obstacles after the devastating occasion that took place yesterday. So this was my bias and you should come to every stock with a certain bias. At this occasion shorting the stock. The only question is when the timing of course. Now using the one minute chart that I'm using on all my charts in the first 30 minutes of the day I waited for the fade the gap rally to stall. It happened exactly 13 minutes after into um, the trading day with an NRB bar just at the round number $32. Now we know that round numbers $32 in our occasion in Wall Street hold huge significance and there are many sell orders waiting to get executed at these levels. 
combine that with the NRB, narrow range bars, that comes after directional movement, and my traders know that the, that, that the probabilities are on my side for the pendulum to move back to the downside. This is how I like my trades to be, placing really, really small risk on my side and having the opportunity to take a full house should the trade go my way as it did. I, execu I executed the short trade below 31.89. This is the support to, you, you can see that level, the support to of the pivot point uh, system. My traders know that computers tend to open their short positions under this level, the pivot point systems. And, and you can't ignore the computers in an environment where about 70% of all the trading flow is generated by them. Let's switch back to the five minutes chart. So this was where I took my trade just under the 31.89 and that was a huge victory, a huge victory on that trade. Prepare your trade, plan it, and then execute it. This is how I like my trades. All right, let's take a quick look on a couple of big movers after the closing bell yesterday. These are stocks that I'm going to put on my screen early in the going today. There are a few earnings reports, first of all, on Tuesday, including Lina, L-E-N, and Paychex, P-A-Y-X. So I'm going to put uh, them on my screen uh, today and to see if there are trading opportunities on this one. Also, um, also Tesla, T-S-L-A. As you can see um, right now, it went down more than 1.5% after hours. That was after the company reported disappointing uh, Model 3 delivery figures. Uh, so I'm going to um, put TSLA on my charts today. I'm also going to put on my screen today Equifax. This is a EFX, which slipped a little bit um, in the extended session after the company announced that 2.5 million more consumers may be affected by data breach. Thank you all for watching. Have a great trading day and I'll see you in our next video. Bye bye.